I'm Fox 4's Anvar Ruziev, your community correspondent for Sanibel. Earlier this month, I was here to cover the grand opening of the new Wiki's restaurant located at the former site of the Lighthouse Cafe, which has now moved further west on Periwinkle and has just had its grand opening on Thursday. The Sanibel Lighthouse, it's an island staple. There's even a restaurant named after it, serving people for 38 years until Ian destroyed it. Now, 19 months later, Lighthouse Cafe owner Dan Bilheimer has finally reopened the restaurant where he used to work as a teenager. You know, I started washing dishes at 15. Bilheimer tells me that they originally wanted to stay at their previous spot, but ultimately chose to move due to time constraints and more space. The goal right now is to survive. You know, I don't think that we're going to have a problem um, once we get to November. Billheimer hopes the return of more condos and resorts over the summer will help fill the seats in his restaurant. He's not alone in that hope. The Sanibel Captiva Chamber of Commerce tells me the Lighthouse Cafe is one of the 12 businesses reopening on the island in April alone. 92 have reopened so far since Hurricane Ian, including the Tarpon Tail Inn, which opened in June and now sees an average of 80% occupancy. As more people come back to Sanibel, they'll realize that where they thought it might take three to five years for us to get back open and recover, I think they'll find that at this point, Sanibel is very well recovered. Like many of our islands here, Sanibel relies on tourists to stay at resorts like Joe Levine's and businesses hoping to keep their doors open as we approach another hurricane season. Yes, Ian happened, but you know, I mean, you can't let fear rule you and I'm just going to operate and go forward like, you know, I mean, that's not going to happen again. The ribbon cutting ceremony for the Lighthouse Cafe is scheduled for Tuesday at 3 p.m. to mark another step of the island's return. Reporting from Sanibel, Anvar Ruziev, Fox 4.